Andrew Greif from the Oregonian here with Tyson Alger, the Oregonian. It's Monday afternoon of game week, finally. South Dakota is just around the corner on Saturday at 7.30 p.m. Ducks are about a 51-point favorite, which you would expect. So, so what's news today other than that with the opponent who's probably just going to be a route? What's going on today? They released the depth chart such that it is, and there's some interesting names on it. Yeah, well, it's, it's quote-unquote the, the too deep that we've been looking for because if you go down the list, there's probably about 30 oars on there. Uh, really competitive camp this season and still a lot of stuff that hasn't been decided yet. You look at, like, wide receivers, for instance. You know, you have the guys that you'd expect on there, Keen Lowe, uh, you know, Devin Allen in the third spot, but then up top there's Darren Carrington mixing with an oar. There's uh, Join Stanford. Stanford mixing with an oar. So, I mean, it's, you know, this, this game against South Dakota is the first game of the season, but a lot of it is also going to be seen how there's so many names that are still in competition for these positions. It's going to be interesting to see how they do on the field. If you're a cynic, you could call this first game the third scrimmage of fall camp, <laughs> and this is the way to kind of work out that depth chart. I think it's interesting for most fans that the three guys at running back are all listed as or. Royce Freeman, the true freshman, who's already a quote-unquote legend with yeah. exploits. There's uh, Byron Marshall, the return returning Pac-12 yardage leader from last year who's still back. And Thomas Tyner. It's an or, so you don't quite know who is going to kind of overlap. I don't think it really matters who starts that position because no. every guy's going to get equal time or at least close to it from what I've been told. Well, we, we were just asking Gary, like, okay, so you got three guys that are all listed up top. What difference do these guys get for you? And you got kind of your typical Thomas is faster, Royce is bigger, Byron's got the most experience. Uh, so it's going to be interesting to see just what that actually does for them coming in that depth chart. Because if a guy comes in there and he just <laughs> runs away with it, you know, we'll, we'll see whether or not they kind of get some uh, some space in between those sure. positions. One more thing is the tight end still remains up in the air. You got uh, Evan Bayless, Farrell Brown, and Johnny Munt all listed as an or. Uh, right guard, Jake Kasarczyk is starting right now, or it could be Cameron Hunt, who was took over the starting job there last year. Uh, we kind of reported on that last week, and I think it has to do a lot with Hunt's health. He's coming back from a minor injury in fall camp. But other than that, it's going to be an interesting week. I think people are finally excited to not only see the Ducks, uh, I think the Ducks are excited to finally see somebody else and hit somebody in a different yeah. uniform. Um, but I think one thing you're going to see, they're wearing white apparently on, on Saturday, but everyone says to wear white. There's going to be a lot of green mixed in with that 2D because a lot of young players, and you're going to see a lot of things happening this Saturday that uh, it'll be interesting to see where they go out from here, especially with Michigan State in week two. Thanks very much.